Junior. conducted great miracle services in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And this week, you'll experience the incredible results of these meetings as souls were saved, bodies healed, and lives changed forever. The first service was marked by a heavy rain, which fell on the city. But more than 60,000 men, women, and children jammed the soccer stadium, demonstrating their hunger for the Word of God and anticipation for a great move of Jesus' healing power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pastor Benny's message lifted the faith of those in attendance and pointed them to the Son of God as the source for the miracles they were so desperately seeking. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, and disease among the people. Jesus foi por toda a Galileia ensinando nas sinagogas deles, pregando as boas novas do reino e curando a todas as enfermidades e doenças entre o povo. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases, and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy, and he healed all of them. Notícias sobre ele se espalharam por toda a Síria, e o povo lhe trouxe todos os que estavam padecendo vários males e tormentos, endemoniados, epiléticos e paralíticos, e ele os curou. And the same Jesus, e o mesmo Jesus, that healed the multitudes, 2000 years ago will do it again today in São Paulo. Que curou a multidão 2000 anos atrás, vai curar o povo aqui hoje em São Paulo. I want to take you on a journey. Eu quero te levar em uma jornada. I want you to see the son of God. Eu quero que você possa imaginar o filho de Deus. Because I believe that porque eu creio Jesus becomes real, that's when people are healed. Que quando Jesus se torna real, aí é quando as pessoas são curadas. When Jesus becomes when Jesus becomes more real than your sickness, that's when your sickness will be canceled. Quando Jesus se torna mais real do que a sua doença, aí a sua doença será cancelada. When the son of God becomes more real than your disease, That's when God will heal you. Quando o filho de Deus se torna mais real do que a tua enfermidade, aí é que o filho de Deus vai te curar. Lift your hands, say Jesus. Levante as mãos e digam Jesus. One more time. Mais uma vez. Say Jesus. Diga Jesus. I want you to see him on that mountain. Eu quero que você o veja naquela montanha. There, sitting with such majesty. Lá estava sentado a majestade. Such authority. Uma autoridade. Magnificent. Magnífico. The Son of God. O Filho de Deus. And the Bible says. E a Bíblia diz. He healed the multitude. Que ele curou as multidões. The Bible makes it very clear all were healed. A Bíblia fala claro que todos foram curados. And then they came up that mountain. Então eles saíram daquela montanha. And heard him preach the greatest sermon ever preached to humanity. E ouviram ele pregar o maior sermão para a humanidade. Blessed are the poor. Bem-aventurado é o pobre. Blessed are the meek. Bem-aventurado é aquele que é fraco. And the crowd wondered. E a multidão ficava se perguntando. In amazement. Impressionados. And suddenly he, he stood up. E de repente ele se levantou. And went down the hill. E ele desceu ali. And they followed him. E o seguiram. But down the hill. Mas lá embaixo da montanha. Was a man. Tinha um homem. One man. Um homem. 
You gotta, you gotta see the heart of Jesus in this. Você tem que entender e ver o coração de Jesus nisso. There was a man down the hill. Tinha um homem lá embaixo da montanha. Who could not come to the service. Que ele não podia ir àquela reunião. A leper. Um leproso. Had that leper joined the crowd, they would have killed him. They would have stoned him. Se tivesse leproso no meio da multidão, eles os matariam ou os apedrejariam. He waited for the Son of God down that hill. Ele esperou o Filho de Deus descer daquela montanha. Covered with leprosy. Coberto com a lepra. Isolated. Isolado. Forsaken. Por desprezado. Despised by the multitude. Ninguém queria a multidão aquele homem. But there walked down the Son of God. Mas desceu dali o Filho de Deus. Jesus could have passed. By him and ignored him. Jesus poderia ter passado por ele e o ignorado. But he didn't do that. Mas ele não fez isso. He came straight for the leper. Ele veio direto para aquele leproso. My brother, my sister, I have news for you. Meu irmão e minha irmã, eu tenho notícias para vocês. When the crowd forsakes you. Quando a multidão te desprezar. When people don't want you. Quando as pessoas não te quiserem. When they shun your presence. Quando eles te tirarem da presença. Jesus will always look for you. Jesus sempre vai te procurar. He'll always come your way. Ele sempre virá o teu caminho. When the world says no, we don't want you. Quando eles disserem não, nós não te queremos. You're rejected by society. Você é rejeitado pela sociedade. The Son of God will never forsake you. O Filho de Deus nunca vai te desprezar. Never. Nunca. He said, "You may forget me, but I'll never forget this of the Lord." Ele diz, talvez você se esqueça de mim, mas eu nunca vou esquecer de ti, diz o Senhor. If you hurt him, he'll heal you. Se você o ouviu, ele vai te curar. If you forsake him, he'll come after you. Se você esquecer, assim mesmo ele vai atrás de ti. If you hate him, he'll love you. Se você odiá-lo, ele vai te amar. No matter what you do to him. Não importa o que você faça com he'll ele. He'll always be there for you. Ele sempre estará aí para, para ti. Because he is Jesus, the Son of Almighty God. Porque ele é Jesus, o Filho do Deus Todo-Poderoso. Came down that hill and he saw that leper. Ele desceu daquela montanha e viu aquele leproso. That leper comes running up that hill. O leproso vem ali naquele caminho. And he gets on his knees. E ele se ajoelha. And he says, "Master, master." Ele disse, "Mestre, mestre." If it's your will, se é a tua vontade, heal me, cura me, cleanse me, limpa me. And the Son of God spoke one word. E o Filho de Deus falou uma palavra. And he's still speaking it. E ele ainda está falando hoje. I will. Eu irei. I will. Eu quero. I will. Eu quero. That I will is still echoing forevermore. Este quero ainda ecoa para todo sempre. That I will is still being repeated by heaven. Este quero ainda é repetido pelos céus. And he tells you tonight. Ele está te dizendo esta noite. I will. Eu vou te curar. Eu quero. You don't have to wonder. You don't have to question. Você não tem que perguntar, ficar preocupado. He said, "I will." Ele disse, "Eu vou fazer." He still says, "I will." Ele ainda diz, "Eu quero." He's walking towards the house of Simon Peter. Ele estava andando em direção à casa de Simão Pedro. A centurion comes. Vem ali então o centurião. Master, master, he says, "My." My servant is ill. Mestre, mestre, meu servo está doente. And Jesus, without hesitation, says, "Jesus, sem hesitar, diz, I'll, I'll come heal him. Eu vou lá curá-lo. You can understand something. Você tem que entender algo. He had just had a morning service. Ele acabou de tinha acabado de ter um culto. Healed thousands of people. Curou milhares de pessoas. He just preached the greatest message to humanity. Ele pregou a maior mensagem da humanidade. He just healed a leper. Ele acabou de curar um leproso. He was tired. Ele estava cansado. He was a man like you and I. Ele era um homem como você e eu. He had every right to say, "I'll do it later." Ele tinha todo o direito de dizer, "Eu faço I'm, depois." I'm too tired. I'm too busy. Eu estou cansado, muito ocupado. He said, "I'll come heal him." Ele disse, "Eu vou lá curá-lo." You must understand. Você tem que entender. Jesus. Loves healing the sick. Jesus ama curar os enfermos.
The one thing he enjoys most a coisa que ele mais gosta is healing the sick. é curar os enfermos. That's why at the, at the pool of Bethesda, é por isso que lá no tanque de Bethesda he came looking to heal the sick. ele estava procurando os enfermos para curar. And he healed a man e ele curou um homem who didn't even know his name. que não sabia nem seu nome. Think about this. Pense sobre isso. Jesus healed a man Jesus curou um homem who did not know who he was. Não sabia nem quem ele era, quem ele era. That man didn't know, he didn't know who Jesus was. Ele não sabia quem Jesus era. Never heard his name. Nunca tinha ouvido o nome de Jesus. If Jesus would heal somebody who never knew his name, how much more will he heal people that know him? Se Jesus cura uma pessoa que não conhece nem sabe quem ele é, imaginem aqueles que conhecem quem Jesus é. So lift your hands and say, this is my day for a miracle. Levante as mãos e diga, este é o meu dia para o milagre. He heals. Ele cura. The centurion servant with his word. O filho do centurião com a sua palavra, o servo. And then, então, he walks into the house of Simon Peter. Ele entra na casa de Simão Pedro. And there laid e deitado lá estava a sogra de Pedro enferma Jesus diz que a Bíblia diz que Jesus vem e fica ali ao lado dela e a sombra de Jesus a cobriu e no minuto em que ele ficou ali na frente dela ela foi curada He didn't have to say a word. Ele não teve que dizer nenhuma palavra. You see, vejam. In the presence of Jesus, na presença de Jesus, sickness dies. A enfermidade morre. In the presence of Jesus, sickness can't live. A presença de Jesus, a enfermidade não pode viver. When Jesus comes close to you, quando Jesus chega perto de ti, sickness will leave you. A enfermidade vai sair de ti. Aleluia. Aleluia. Lift your hands, say hallelujah. Levante as mãos todos, digam aleluia. And now, now, now the multitude gathers around the house. Agora a multidão estava ali ao redor da casa. They can't get in. Não podiam entrar. He goes out the door. Ele sai ali pela porta. And begins to heal the multitudes again. E começa a curar a multidão novamente. Now remember something. Agora lembre-se de algo. He had a mighty healing service that morning. Ele teve um culto de milagres e cura aquela manhã. Tremendo. He, he healed the sick that morning. Ele cu tinha curado os enfermos aquela manhã. He, he preached the greatest message. Ele pregou a maior mensagem. Uh, he healed the leper. Ele curou o leproso. He healed the centurion's servant. Ele curou o servo do centurião. He, he healed Peter's mother-in-law. Ele curou a sogra de Pedro. And now he has another miracle service. E agora ele tem um outro culto de milagres. And the crowd gathers. E a multidão ali perto. And he healed them all. E ele curou a todos. I said he healed them all. Eu disse que ele curou a todos. Are you ready for him to do the same in São Paulo? Será que vocês estão prontos para que ele faça o mesmo aqui em São Paulo? He is the same yesterday. Ele é o mesmo ontem. Today. Hoje. And forever. E para sempre. Never, he never, never changes. Ele nunca muda. How you say he never changes? Ele nunca muda. Ele nunca muda. Muda. Ele nunca muda. Ele nunca muda. Ele nunca muda. Ele nunca muda. Yes. Jesus is the same. Jesus é o mesmo. How you say the same? Jesus é o mesmo. Jesus é, é o mesmo. O mesmo. Amém. Jesus o mesmo. Say it. Digam.
On tomorrow's program, you'll hear the conclusion of Pastor Benny's message to the more than 60,000 in attendance at this recent service in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And you'll witness the amazing results of Jesus' healing power as many came forward to testify of a miraculous change in their physical bodies. You'll rejoice as you experience the mighty move of God in Brazil. So don't miss This Is Your Day tomorrow at this same time on this station. The Bible says in the day when I cried unto you, Lord, you heard me. I pray today as you call on the name of Jesus, your prayer will be answered. Your, your, your request granted and your prayer will be answered and your request will be granted as you simply say, Jesus. It's really so simple, isn't it? That's Psalm 138, verse 3. In the day when I cried, Thou answered me, and you strengthened me with strength in my soul. The Bible says in Isaiah 40, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You heard today uh, as I was preaching on healing, And I'm going to believe God with you today to heal you. But God is able to do way more than that because He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. And remember, Jesus is closer to us than the air we breathe. And all we have to do is call on His name and His presence manifests. His presence becomes more real than life itself, more real than any person near you. And all we have to do is simply Turn our eyes on Him. It's really that simple. Remember, you're never alone. You may think you are. You are never, ever alone. You may be laying right now in some hospital bed watching me, and you feel all alone. No, no, you're not alone. Or you may be in some nursing home, or you may be in your own home feeling all forsaken. No, no, no. I will never, Jesus said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. You may not feel him there. That's not important. He will never leave you. But, the, but his presence becomes a reality when you just practice his presence. How? Call his name. He's, he's, really, it's true. He is as close as the mention of his name. When you say Jesus, he's there. Now let's believe God together. I'm going to pray with you and believe God with you today to make you whole, set you free. Answer your prayer and give you that peace that passeth all understanding. Dear Jesus, we come together in faith believing because your word declares if any two will come into agreement, you're there. You said, where two are gathered in my name, I'm there. And you also promised that you will answer prayer. Now we come in agreement and pray that this need be met in that life. Let this need, whether it be spiritual, emotional, physical, financial, let it be met today, precious, wonderful Lord. I come into agreement that every need be met today in the name of Jesus. I give you praise for your mercy and your compassion. And your word says, the day we cried unto you, you heard us and answered us and strengthened us in our very soul. Do it now, Lord, in Jesus' name. I give you praise. Somebody with a skin condition had just been healed. That somebody else with a lower back, lower spine, is also being healed. A lady with an infection in the right eye has just been healed. Thank you, Lord. I, I, look, I, I do not have to call out your healing. You just receive, okay? You just simply say, Lord Jesus, touch me. An infection in someone's gums also has just been healed. Thank you, Lord. You, you just felt like a warmth uh, on that area when I said that. Thank you, Lord. There's a lady with arthritis also getting healed. I command that arthritis to go in the name of Jesus, the Son of Almighty God. I give you praise, Lord, for your mercy. And God's people said, Amen. There's there's a girl watching me who's been throwing up a lot. You've been throwing up your food. I don't know what's going on, but God is healing you right now, young lady. Kathy, Kathy, that's your name. The Lord just healed you, Kathy. 
He's, he's delivering you from that problem where you throw up your food. Let's receive your healing in Jesus' name. And the greatest miracle, whether it's Kathy or anyone else watching and needs this, the greatest miracle is not physical. The greatest miracle is salvation. So if you do not know the Lord, just say, Dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Come into my heart. Amen. If you prayed with me that prayer, call the number on the screen. I'll, I'll send you information to help you. Thank you for being my friend and partner. Remember, as you support the Lord's work, He will support you. As you give, He'll give to you. And the Bible says, giving protects your tomorrow from financial harm. That's in Ecclesiastes 11, verse 2. So do it today. So, so, so your seed. Benny Hinn Ministries, Post Office Box 16, 2000, Irving, Texas, or online, or call it in. A million thanks. You are the best. Suzanne and I love you dearly. Bye-bye. Pastor Benny Hinn invites you to join over 3 million Facebook users around the world who like Benny Hinn Ministries. Go to the ministry website and click the Facebook link. And if you follow Pastor Benny, you'll receive alerts when he is broadcasting live. Don't miss this opportunity to receive inspiring messages, scriptures, teachings, announcements, and Pastor Benny's live teachings on Facebook. Like and follow Benny Hinn Ministries today. God wants to call you great. In fact, you that are watching me, this is a moment in your life. This moment is that God wants to stamp upon you great. Did you know that there's only one place in the Bible, according to the King James Version, 66 books, some 700,000 words, only one time it says, a great woman. The Lord has spoken strongly to me to say, look into the camera, because that person that's watching, I'm going to make great. How do you become great? Well, this, Bi this Bible says this woman, she was watching the man of God, and she says, I, I perceive he's a man of God. I know you perceive that Benny Hinn is a man of God. This program, this is your, this is your day, is, is of God. And the Bible said that she said, I think we're going to, she told her husband, let's build on to the house because one day he's going to have to stay here and we need to make provisions. The Bible said they built a house that gave them furniture. And one day that day came that the prophet said, can we stay here tonight at your house? They led them through their house. There was this huge condominium added on to their house in the furniture, the Bible says. And he says, what have you done? She says, I just believe that this ministry needs to be taken care of. And so I have given to the ministry. I know you didn't ask me, but I've given. The prophet then said, just like I'm going to speak to you. The prophet then said, what do you need? She then said, well, we're in our 70s. We haven't any, having any children. And he said, now you will be pregnant. She then said to the prophet, don't make fun of me. I'm talking to you right now. I've only got about 60, 70 seconds with you, and I'm going to tell you, this is going to change the rest of your life. When I tell you, you are about to get a miracle you've never had before from God, and, you, and you're watching me saying, how can that be? Is because greatness, great, has been applied to your life. The Bible says that she did have a son. The Bible says that the boy grew up. The Bible said the boy died. The Bible said she took that boy to the room in which she built for the man of God. She put that boy on the offering that she had given to the man of God. The man of God came, prayed, and the boy came back to life again. The prophet then forewarned her about a famine coming in. She went to the Philistines uh, out of her land, and she was gone for seven years. And the Bible says... Then when she got back, her land was gone. I'm talking to somebody. You've been stolen from, death, uh, stealing, destruction has come to your money, has come to your health. But God is speaking right now saying greatness is coming upon you. And the Bible said when she came back, she came before the king. The king found out she had a miracle in her life. 
She was standing at the right place at the right time for the, the servant of the prophet was telling the king about the miracle of the boy that died but was resurrected. And he said, there she is. And right now at this moment, you and I have just met by way of television on This Is Your Day. And the Bible said, the king said, I'm going to give you your land back. Not only that, how long have you been gone? Seven years. I'm going to give you seven years of supply. I'm talking to you today. What makes you great is when you pick up the phone and say, I'm going to give to this ministry because I perceive it is of God. I'm talking to somebody right now. You're going to pick up the phone, $100. Somebody's going to say $1,000. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the moment you pick up the phone and dial that number, God is going to say, great. And when greatness comes upon you, let me tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be a supernatural miracle that's going to happen to you. God is going to replace seven times more that's been taken from you. And whatever has died or, or tried to be destroyed, God's going to resurrect it. And God is going to give you the desires of your heart. Go to the phone right now and say, this is my offering. Because God is saying, you're great. Do that right now. Do that right now. I sense someone giving $300. I sense someone giving $200. I sense right now that you must go to your phone because this is going to be the best day of your life. Go to the phone so God can say, great. You are great. Get ready for your miracle. As you call now, the number Thank you, Lord. The miracle's coming. The miracle's coming.